Probability, Permutations for Leaving Cert Higher Level Students. Evaluate 10p3. That's the number of ways that we could choose any three objects from 10 different objects and arrange them. We can use the calculator to evaluate this. We can write 10p3 in the calculator by pressing the permutation button, which is the second function button of the multiplied sign on the Casio. So 10p3 equals 720. This is the same answer we get if we multiply 10 by 9 by 8. In the second question, we're asked to find n if 7 times n p3 equals 6 times n plus 1 p3. Now, n p3 means n by n minus 1 by n minus 2. It's the number of ways of choosing and arranging three things out of n objects. So n by n minus 1 by n minus 2 n plus 1 p3 means n plus 1 by n by n minus 1. The number of ways of choosing three things out of n plus 1 objects and arranging them. So we'll solve this equation. We'll divide both sides by n and both sides by n minus 1. Now we expand what's left. 7 times n minus 2 is 7n minus 14 and 6 times n plus 1 is 6n plus 6. Now we'll take 6n from both sides and add 14 to both sides, giving that n equals 20. It's a good idea to use the calculator to check your answer. So if we sub 20 in for n into the original formula, is 7 groups of 20p3, which is 47,880, equal to 6 groups of 21p3, and we'll see that both answers are the same.